The moment we've all been waiting for. Pure Honors! Let's go! I'm so hyped for this video. Finally, bro. Finally. Pure Odd Eyes. No Magicians. No Endymion. Pure Odd Eyes, bro. That fucking Heisenberg, bro. Pure, 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 pure Odd Eyes. 40 Odd Eyes cards. Let's fucking go. If you guys are excited for this video, I want you guys to literally smash the subscribe button harder than you've ever had in your life in honor of Yuya and every Odd Eyes player in the planet. And then I want you to smash the like button as well. And then I want you to go check out down in the description below all of the beautiful playing mats. Everything is back in stock fully. No limited nothing. Just go get yours right now and let's get started. I'm hyped, baby. Let's go. And you know what, guys? This ain't no, like, four negate. Oh, I'm playing four negate. Odd eyes so tired. Shut the hell up. We're putting up six negate odd eyes, baby. Six negates. Now, we're going to start this turn off. Perform by Pendulum Sorcerers here for one reason. This guy, this child of a man right here, look at him. This guy fucks, bro. Look at him, bro. This man right here is going to single-handedly enable Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon to hit the field every single game combined with a free rank 4 on top. This card's a one card dweller plus Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon by himself. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, we're gonna go Odd Eyes Revolution here to search for one of my favorite cards in this deck because it's so searchable. We have like 15 ways to Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum, and this whole deck is very, very dependent on Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum. So, its effects actually insane. So, as you see over here, hey, we open extra desires, it doesn't matter. Any extra bonus card we get, we even play four foolish burials or one foolish three shrine, it doesn't matter because you have so many ways to perform about pendulum sorcerer you just pop your extra cards it, it, it's actually amazing and the synergy with pensork and Odd's arc pendulum is absolutely incredible so anyways we're gonna start this one off with we're gonna scale both arc pendulums obviously he doesn't have ash blossom i mean he would ash blossom a shrine or a desires he has no idea we have an iris here in this with double scale high scale so we're gonna go iris pop arc pendulum and then uh, uh, to add a low scale of Persona, then we're going to activate Arc Pendulum to, search, to special a Persona. In this scenario, we could special the most broken card in this deck, but I'm not going to show now. You'll see it a little later. But it's better to uh, get into the Persona here. We're going to go into a Seal, which is super amazing in this deck. And then we're going to go into Gate Zero. And then we're going to Pendulum here. We're going to Pendulum and Arc Pendulum, a Persona, Double Persona, and Sork. Obviously, I set the Desires first. Then we're going to activate Sork here to pop. I'm going to pop one Scale and one Desires. I'm going to get Joker. And Performa Pal, Odd Eyes, Dissolve. One of the most underrated Pendulum cards in history for just how insane it is in this deck. So already off the top, I have a Seal Interruption and I have Double Persona Dragon. So what can we do with everything else? So my play here, I'm going to Normal Summon Joker and search for just a random for one Pendulum Sorcerer here. Then I'm going to activate the effect of Odd Eyes Dissolver, which is a scale 4 by the way. So I can summon back my Persona, Gate 0, Arc Pendulum freely. And then what I'm going to do with its effect is I'm going to link off, I'm going to Fusion Summon my Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum on the field and my Performed by Pendulum Sorcerer in my hand to bring out the big boy Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. And then I'm going to, with the Sorcerer, remember I said Sorcerer equal to one card, Dweller plus Vortex? Well, there you have it. Literally, a single sorcerer equals dweller plus vortex. Now, you look at this board over here, and this right here is six interruptions, six negates here. You got the vortex omni negate, you got dweller as the uh, uh, like a thousand times quadruple negate, because all their effects will be negated. You got double odd eyes persona dragon, which negates anything your opponent brings up from the extra deck. Your opponent might as well be under artifact sight, because persona dragon is going to stop every single card from the extra deck. So that's four negates. One from each persona. Then Seal's gonna bounce something, and then Seal's gonna bring out the big boy here, Aether the Evil Power Empowering Dragon, to banish a card, making it six. Six negate Odd Eyes. And then to make it even better, there's no one in the world knows about Odd Eyes, bro. No one knows what Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum does. To make this even sweeter, when they attempt to destroy Persona, even Vortex, even if Vortex gets destroyed, it was properly fusion summoned by the effect of Odd Eyes Dissolver. The Pendulum set effect says you can Fusion Summon. It's a proper Fusion Summon. So Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon says, when an Odd Eyes card you control is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, Special Summon an Odd Eyes Monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So even if they somehow miraculously Sphere Mode Lava Golem, and then like Dark Hole or something like that afterwards, 
or they just dark hole and like whatever arc pendulum effect bring her back vortex if they find a way to kill this the persona dragon all right arc pendulum bring out another persona as far as i'm concerned this ain't even six negates as far as i'm concerned this is seven negates baby one for every card in their hand and one just so you can look at for fun and just flex like a chad and not even use it in fact i wouldn't even use dweller against my opponent i would just keep it there as a power move and let him stare down my dweller as i let his grave effects resolve and i negate everything else because pen best deck now i'm going to show you guys another replay here like if you guys were watching my stream i literally did 10 test signs in a row and every single one of them were broken as heck every one of them put up five plus negates so here, like I told you guys, we're playing pure, pure, pure Odd Eyes. Literally Spiral Flame Strike. Every possible way to search Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum, we are going to do. Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum in this deck, especially combined with like Sky Iris, is just insane. So here, we're going to go into the Dark Worm. We're going to plus a bit. We're going to get Sky Iris. I made a little mistake there. I don't Terraforming the Iris. I just activate Iris. Keep the Terraforming set so you can use Perform by Pendulum Sorcerer to pop it. So that's why I'm doing this little take back so you guys see keep that extra spell it's the same reason why in sky striker if you already have area zero and a terraforming don't terraform in the area zero let the area zero pop the terraforming so in this scenario it's the same idea but we're gonna want to do that so we already passed foolish foolish and we passed desires he's not ash blossom the sky iris we get sprout flame strike to get arc pendulum iris pop that effect will trigger especially another persona dragon from deck do you guys see now just why odd eyes arc pendulum is so broken and uh, you have 20 ways into it so you always have odd eyes cards Link these into our seal. And then we're just going to scale. Literally the same thing. We didn't normal summon yet this turn. We get the sorcerer. We're going to pendulum summon. At this point, I recognize that I'm out of a lot of targets. Literally, I banished everything. So we couldn't even pop this terraforming. Otherwise, you could get a, a terraforming. Could have been another joker. Could have been another odd eyes dissolver. We have two jokers and two odd eyes dissolvers in the deck. I recently took out odd eyes synchron. But in this combo, I did. So it's just staying here for now. Anyways, we're going to go into dweller here. We're going to use the effect of dissolver to put into a vortex very easily if i had one more target we could even have another negate and just like that we have aether left in deck dweller persona vortex seal aether five negates here with the auto attack pendulum protecting to make it six negates this deck's insane literally this deck's fucking insane so now i'm going to show you guys the deck list this is the updated deck list absolutely insane you like you look at this they're all power cards literally they're all power cards you need to put auto dissolver at two you literally you cannot banish it it's very important for this combo and i understand souls is expensive but don't worry i'm doing a budget list literally in one minute so stay tuned for the whole video but still understand what i'm about to say so if you look at this instantly like every card's a power card like you want to see all of these cards on as arc pendulum is probably the most searchable card in Yu-Gi-Oh history there's three six joker searches seven eight sorcerer searches on arc, arc pendulum 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and because you're playing 21 ways into arc pendulum desires is absolutely dragging into one of those 21 ways so you literally have 24 ways to odd eyes arc pendulum how fucking broken is that so because you have 24 ways the idea behind this deck is to take advantage of a scale effect to get a free monster on the field you could even start with odd eyes arc pendulum pop something special dissolver and you could start your turn going second with putting up a vortex dragon with the effect of dissolver by fusion summoning with itself and the odd eyes pendulum in the scale you can literally get a free completely free odd eyes vortex dragon to bait all your opponent's stuff and kill them so it's fucking insane you i do believe you need to play the aether because seal is the play most of the time the only time you don't seal is when you joker but sometimes you still just don't you, you still make a seal anyways after the pen summon it's just that broken and it's okay to play lots of doubles as you see i'm playing four sky irises and four foolish burials three desires of course you're bound to see doubles but this deck gets rid of the doubles that's why it's okay sork will always pop an extra double you have let's say you have two dragon shrines sork will pop a dragon shrine souls will send the double that's why it's okay to play doubles in this deck souls is very good in this deck but if you can't afford it it's fine that's also why we're playing two dissolver souls sends dissolver as the spellcaster that it sends and then if you really want to Celine could special out the dissolver so some plays that is the best play where as you guys saw we we had the dark worm and we played seal well instead of seal you special souls get a plus off souls go into Celine. dissolver is a spellcaster special Celine. activate dissolver effect before the pendulum summon and you get yourself a vortex dragon on the field before the pen summon and on top of that an appalooza so like before the pen summon 
then you just pen, pen your whole extra deck out. So it, it's absolutely insane. Extra deck, I mean side deck, the classic, bro. Three sphere, three lava, three dark roller, three denko, duster, reboot. You do play one out of fusion going second. So going second, you side into one out of fusion to try and start your turn with the vortex and bait in the gate. Sky Iris can search it when you already have your scales required. For those who don't know, Spiral Flame Strike also could pop a card. Typically, it's to search Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum. Otherwise, it's to also pop a card if you want to. Now, extra deck, double seal. It does come up, especially in the grind game. It'll come up. Mascarena, Unicorn, Selene, Appalooza, Axis Code Darker, Boral Sword, Dweller, Tornado, Baguska, Zeus. You play Zeus and Baguska because you put Baguska in attack position. Attack freely. It's protected. And then you use Zeus on top. Clear everything. Uh, and then Odd Eyes Raging. Odd Eyes Absolute Vortex. You only put Odd Eyes Raging because it's a pendulum for Odd Eyes Fusion. That's the deck with non-budget. Now I'm going to show you guys a budget version super fast. This is the budget version. It's actually super budget. So in this, we removed the souls and added two Curtain Razors. I understand Curtain Razor does conflict with the Foolish. But what you have to understand is that as long as one Foolish or one Curtain Razor resolves, you have a Link 2 before the Pen Summon. So who gives a fuck if they if they don't work out together? You could shri go Shrine, bring a Dark Worm, and normal Curtain Razor. That's fine. The whole idea is you want to make a link two before the pen summon. If it's not seal, it's mascarena. So it's totally fine if you don't start with, with seal. But it's only two curtain razors. Typically, you do still end on the seal, so it's fine. Also, uh, something else I want to mention is Sky Iris searches Dark Worm. Revolution searches Dark Worm. Look how many ways to Dark Worm you have. You have three Revolution. You have three Dark Worm itself. That's six, seven, ten, thirteen, fourteen. You have fourteen ways to Dark Worm in a thirty-six card deck. So that's how you typically start with the seal. Uh, obviously, we're still playing these. Like, we're still playing Appalooza and Celine. Very budget. This deck's extremely budget. You could say you get this deck for like 50 bucks, no problem. Budget as hell. So easy. Like, without the side deck, this deck's less than 50 bucks. So, whether you want to play budget or not, they're both amazing. I'll go back to the other list now. This list is insane. It really is. Six negates, five negates, seven negates. Don't matter. Everyone's getting clapped. Pen best deck. If you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button? Why don't you guys smash the like button? And if you guys love Odd Eyes, comment down below. Odd Eyes best deck, baby. Let's go. Check out all the links. Check out tripgaming.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.